How's it going? Thanks for tuning in. I wanted to make a video about my two years that I've spent with the Leica M3. Uh, so let's dive into it. Okay, so I have spent two years with the Leica M3. This is actually my second copy. I bought my first one because my M2, which was the first Leica film camera I ever bought, was in the shop. And basically it was going back and forth for six months and I really got tired of not being able to use you know, my Leica lenses. So went out, I found a really cheap beat up M3 and honestly I fell in love. Um, so I'm gonna list all of the things that I really love about the M3, a few things I don't like, and whether or not I'm gonna keep this camera. So let's get into it. First off, if you're a 50 millimeter lens shooter like I am, then you're going to love this camera. It's built for the 50. It has the best 50 millimeter frame lines you could ever ask for. Um, so you're all set there. If you like to shoot anything wider, then you may want to look into something else. I do sometimes shoot with a 35 millimeter. I never got an external viewfinder, but some of my friends have, and I kind of regret not getting one. Uh, on top of that, if you like shooting with a 90 millimeter lens, then this is a great camera to use too. Uh, the Frame lines are so easy to use. The focusing is so much easier than on like an M2 or an M6. So definitely something to consider. Okay, like I said, I'm going to show you on uh, some footage what the frame lines look like. Um, if you've shot with another M, like the M6, M2, then you'll notice they're kind of small. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, but when you shoot with this, it's really the best camera for, for that, for a 50 millimeter. They say, people like Ken Rockwell on his blogs, have said that the M2 is not as nice, that the M3 is really the superior like build. I don't know, I don't have any data, but holding them, I would say the M3 feels nicer in the hands. But that's just, I don't know. I don't know if it's just made up in my head or if it's true, but to my feel, it does feel nicer. Um, if you do enjoy shooting with a 35 millimeter lens, you may want to stick with like an M2 or really any of the other lines, um, cameras, mainly because the viewfinder is a 0.91 magnification versus the 0.72, which became the standard after the M3. Now I will say as a glasses wearer, this isn't the best camera. Um, and in fact, it's kind of why I'm not going to stick with it. If you don't wear glasses, then I would say go get this immediately. Um, and if you do shoot 50 millimeter, then this is the camera for you. Honestly, on top of that, I'm kind of in this space personally where I'm trying to find just one film camera that's going to cover all of my bases. And because I shoot in the studio and because I like shooting with flash, I got to say the M3 and really just the M line, not really the best for that. Um, the M3 sh shutter speed when you shoot with the flash is 1 50th of a second, which isn't very good. I mean, it's doable, but it's okay. Also, the camera doesn't have a hot shoe, which there are workarounds, but they're kind of a pain. So I love the Leica M3 and I actually, I really do feel like being the romantic I am, I mostly shot black and white with this camera. So I would say 90% with Ilford HP5. I did go about a year or maybe six months with Kodak Triax, but most of it's gonna be with HP5, an occasional color roll, and I'm gonna share some of that work with you right now.
But like I said, unfortunately, after two years with this camera, I am going to sell it. Um, only because like, I wear glasses and basically when you press your eye against this, it's then creating a space between the frame lines, your eye, and so it just like isn't a fun experience. It, like, I, like not that it's not fun, but it's just not the best experience and you know, slows me down as a photographer. So, but like I said, if you don't wear glasses, then you're golden. Um, uh, so I am very sad after two years, but it is goodbye to the M3, sadly. For a more detailed breakdown, you can visit my website, davindelionphoto.com. In the blog section, there's a subcategory called Leica Diaries. You can find it there or under the film photography section. Thanks for tuning in and we'll talk next time.